In this video, we show how to perform a stock taking deck easy using an Android device and a scanner. As you probably already know, a USB scanner can be used to assist with the stock taking deck easy. The problem with this, however, is the items need to be near the computer to scan them, which may not always be convenient. By using an Android device with a linked Bluetooth scanner, the scanning becomes much more mobile. You're free to do the scanning wherever you like, so long as you are within Wi-Fi range. For this, you'll need two things. Firstly, an Android device. For this, I'll be using an old Android phone that I have upgrade, uh, upgraded from, pictured here. Secondly, a Bluetooth scanner. The Bluetooth scanner needs to be paired with the Android device, so the Android device sees it as a keyboard. You will also need the DeckEasy app installed on the Android device. This can be easily installed from the Play Store. I'm going to do a stock take for one brand. So before we start, let's have a quick look at that brand, this collection. To keep things simple, I've only entered stock for two items. This one here, the Detroit men's pants. Um, and as you can see, I have um, entered stock for two, uh, for two units for four size color combinations. Um, for simplicity's sake, I'll refer to an item size color combination as an SQ, SKU in this video. That's short for stock keeping unit. And also for this second item, I've um, set up it similarly with two units for uh, four size color combinations. Now to start the stock take, we open the stock take list. That's from the inventory menu, stock take. Now I'll create a new stock take by clicking on add new. And this opens up the uh, stock take card. Um, by default, a new stock take will, set up, uh, will be set up to do a stock take for everything. This seems a bit overwhelming to me. So I'm going to set it up so we're, do, uh, so we're just doing a stock take for one brand. So I select brand, then the brand I want to do the stock take for. There are two other things I can enter. Uh, the description, which is just free text to describe the, what the stock take is all about. I'm going to call this half yearly stock take. Okay, and there is the date, which tells us when this stock take is effective. If we leave it blank, DeckEasy will use a system date when we update the uh, inventory levels. Now we need to generate the lines. We do this from the menu at the bottom. Stock take. Generate lines. Um, the process will go through all the items that belong to this brand and find those that have inventory. Each item, size, color combination, or SKU, which has stock, will be added as a line to the stock take. As I showed earlier, as I showed earlier, sorry, we have two items, each with four size color combinations with stock. So eight lines are created, four for each item. You will note the details we have for each line. First, we have a number of columns that identify the SKU. Then, we have a quantity calculator column, which tells us how many DeckEasy thinks we have of this SKU. The quantity scanned tells us how many have been scanned. This, this defaults to zero. The adjustment quantity column tells us what, adjust, uh, what the adjustment is going to be. That is, the quantity scanned minus the quantity calculated. And then we have a few columns telling us the costs involved in this stock take. In order to enable the Android app to update the stock take, we need to tell it to start listening by selecting Stock Take, Deck Easy, Start Listening. The stock take window then displays a message telling us it is ready and which IP address it is on. Now it's time to open our Android app. 
The mobile phone screen you can see is actually a real mobile phone. I'll just exit out of the app. I've already got it open. Um, and I've got this in my hand here. Um, I have some software that allows me to mirror on the screen on my computer so you can see what's happening in both DeckEasy and the Android device at the same time. So first, I'll open up the DeckEasy app. And the first thing we're asked is what we want to do, with a stock take or a purchase receipt. So I'm going to select stock take here. And then we are prompted for an IP address. The IP address you need to enter is the one displayed on the stock take window. Um, it's remembered it here from the last time I used it, so I don't need to enter it again. So I'll just click on OK. And here we have the barcode scanning window. From here, we take the barcode scanner that is linked to the Android device and start scanning all the items we have for this brand. I'll start now by scanning a barcode for one of our SKUs. Just get my barcode here. You can see here that a few things have happened. In DeckEasy, the quantity scanned for the SKU got updated and the line has been highlighted. On the Android device, the screen remains green, indicating the scan was re read successfully and the details of the scanned item are displayed. We'll scan the, sa the same barcode again. This tells us, this tells DeckEasy that we found two units of this SKU. Now we'll scan a different barcode, one for a different SKU for the same item. Okay, we'll just scan one of, uh, we'll just scan this one once. This tells DeckEasy that we only found one unit of this SKU, so its count of two must be wrong. Next, we'll scan a different barcode, one for a new item. We'll scan this one three times. This tells DeckEasy that we found three units of this, of this SKU, so its count of two is wrong. Next, we'll scan a barcode for an SKU that has no stock in DeckEasy at the moment, but still belongs to this brand. I'll try again. Okay, the first scan didn't work. And we can see here that it's automatically created a new line in the stock take for the newly scanned SKU. Finally, we'll scan a barcode for an SKU that does not belong to this brand. As this is an error, the Android device will vibrate and give an error beep, alerting you that you have scanned something wrong. It also gives you a short description of the error. Now that we have finished our stock take, it's time to complete it. At this point, nothing has been committed to the database. Um, no items, uh, no items inventory levels have been updated. Everything is contained within this stock take. Once we have finished scanning and are happy with the stock take, we need to post it. Posting the stock take will update all the items inventory levels as per the adjustment quantity column. For this stock take, This means the first SKU will have no adjustments as the scan quantity matches the quantity currently in DeckEasy or the calculated quantity. The third SKU will have a negative adjustment as the quantity scanned is lower than the calculated quantity. The fifth SKU 
will have a positive adjustment as the quantity scanned is greater than the calculated quantity. The last SKU will have a positive adjustment of 1 as one unit was scanned and the calculated quantity is 0. The rest of the SKUs in this list will be written off as nothing was scanned for them. To post this stock take, we select stock take, uh, post stock take. And say yes to the message. And our stock take is now posted. Now we'll go back to the item management management window to, uh, to look at the to look at sorry, we'll go back to the stock take management window to review the inventory levels. Okay, as you recall, these four SKUs each had an inventory level of two before the stock take. Now they have been updated as per the stock take. Next, we'll have a look at the stout pants. Again, the inventory levels have been updated as per our stock take. Finally, we'll look at our regular pants. Previously, this item had zero stock for all SKUs. Now, one of them has inventory as per our stock take. And that concludes our tutorial on performing a stock take with an Android device and a scanner. As you have seen, ensuring your inventory levels are correct becomes very easy when using the uh, DeckEasy stock take functionality, along with an Android device and a Bluetooth scanning. Thanks for watching.